Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Mr. Week channel. As you know, I do like to make videos about car, motorcycles, caravans, my own life, challenge, food reviews. Really? Oh, are you kidding me? Please, no F words in my channel. Holy moly. So let's do this epic video. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Mr. Wig, guys. Here I am to make another awesome video for all of you guys. Today I'm gonna make a video of this amazing Ducati Diavel. Let's go! This is a Ducati Diavel. Actually, this precise motorcycle is a 2015 Diavel Generation 2. It's called actually the Twin Spark Engine. The 2011 model year Diavel actually appeared first in November 2010 at the motorcycle show in Milan in Italy. The engine is a retuned version of the 1198.4 cc Testa Treta from the 1198 Superbike. That is the, 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 the engine that they used to use actually for race and what they do is after a couple of years they think the engine is quite reliable it doesn't give no no problems and uh, you can do a lot of miles they did tune them they modify they put different um, cylinders but the architecture actually of the engine is based on a racing motorcycle in this case is that is one of the engines but it's been detuned but you'll be surprised how powerful actually is still this motorcycle. This engine is called a Testa Treta 11 because of its uh, 11 valves overlapped, reduced from 41, the second generation DFL, debuted as 2015 model with the revised headlights and radiator vents, along with spark plugs, um, heads, styling for the DFL was developed actually in a house at Ducati. Although the project began under the leadership of Ducati's previous design chief, Pierre Terblanche, is a well-known designer of motorcycles. He actually was the designer of the Ducati 916, and even he designed some of the uh, Bimotas motorcycles, and he's been a big influence in a lot of motorcycles for some manufacturers. He is high rated, this person. Anyway, he commissioned uh, Glenn Kerr, actually. is a designer and design columnist for uh, the motorcycle consumer news to produce the initial, actually, concept sketches. Most Diavel buyers appear to be existing riders aged between 50 and over. In USA, uh, magazine it's called the cycle world um, commented actually that the DFL was the quickest 0 to 60 miles per hour time of any production motorcycle the world has ever tested now that is incredible isn't this is a it's not a proper racing motorcycle but he can the, the these guys they tested for the American um, a magazine Cycle World and they said this is the fastest motorcycle in the world for them when they test it uh, from 0 to 60 miles an hour. The, the max power for this motorcycle actually is 162 bhp. The max torque is 94 newton meters of torque. It doesn't sound a lot guys but this is 210 kilos. This is the weight of motorcycle. 94 newton meters of torque actually is quite a lot for a, a, a motorcycle that weights just 210 um, kilos actually uh, on um, a quarter of a mile acceleration it did 11.5 seconds the top speed for this motorcycle actually is 169 miles an hour if you notice it doesn't have no fairings eh? And that is quite a lot for a, a naked motorcycle. As you can see, there's no protection on the front. Almost 170 miles an hour for this. That is incredible. So the front tire is 120, 70 
ZR17 but the back one that I will show you in a bit is a 240 45 17 as you can see the majority of the bike um, if you notice more the, the frame is in red is something particularly from the Ducati they do like to, to have the frame in red just um, limited edition models they will come perhaps in black I have seen in yellow and in white as, as well but the majority I would say 90 to 95 percent all the frames they will be in red the bike is in red with some parts in the dark gray some parts in like the plastics they are in black this is really stunning is huge the presence is amazing and is beautiful and sexy and what it comes to my mind guys is the Italians they make one of the most beautiful cars like the Ferraris and the, the Maseratis the Pagani Zondas aren't they beautiful and sexy and the motorcycle is exactly the same it would have to be stunning I have to tell you actually Ducati is one of the brands and I would have to put as a really beautiful and attractive motorcycle I would choose a Ducati 916 when it came out with the exhaust under the seat it just blow me away so now let's see this beautiful motorcycle guys something that I, I want to mention to you guys and I think it looks amazing there's several details so this is a, an extra that I will tell you actually how much, how much the owner paid this is the backrest actually this part that is attached to the backrest they it came from the Australia they make this for the Ducati de Ville. it looks actually very neat here so there you go we got here the indicator guys look at that the way it flows actually into the motorcycle how smart is that now you see the 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 the, the back uh, seat this is the for the pillion and you think where is the pegs here where is the pegs what a nice detail guys look at that you leave it the way as it is you got a pillion isn't that incredible well i still have to say the legs of the person still come quite high but this is a very intelligent way to do something that they call it catch my eye guys is look at that they put the disc actually inside the wheel to look at the, the the swing arm is just on one side so it's one side swing arm this is particularly on the Ducatis and I do love that because as you saw the, the other side you just see the wheel you don't see the the swing arm nice touch with the rear um, Agurk in carbon this is really nice touch I love all the Ducatis actually in red with a red frame they look stunning here's the mushrooms to protect in case you drop the bike to the side look at the radiators here on the side so they incorporate really well another touch that they caught my eye look at the front indicators here this is really a nice touch Diabel carbon there's another extra they put the cover for the headlights in carbon really amazing 
the front mud guard in carbon as well really beautiful with the Ducati symbol there it's motorcycle really stunning this wheel without the swing arm is just stunning but another thing that I need to show you guys this is a 240 look at that this is a 240 how wide is this tire this is very wide guys still okay the tire actually wow my goodness this is just quality with exhausts on the right hand side so they got two actually they got one here and they got another there with lots of lights let's see if I can start that ah ha, ha. look at that guys look all those lights on this is cool actually when you start the bike you will see the ref counter going up and down and that is something I need to tell you look at that you can choose actually the map in this case is for a 04 DTC so I, I presume it's for the performance so you can have a full uh, HP BHP on this bike or you can uh, choose like the rain or the snow you can choose low look at that you can even adjust the suspension and look at that guys it caught my eyes look at that this is a 2015 motorcycle it just got 2491 that is incredible well it doesn't do any bad 44.3 miles to the gallon this is really cool let's see if I can start it guys just before I finalize how about I'm gonna tell you now how much this motorcycle actually cost this motorcycle actually cost 17,250 there are several models uh, with this uh, type of motorcycle you can choose even limited editions this bike had some upgrades they cost 7,320 pounds without the labor so let's start with the exhaust guys it is a Cheminoni with a sports cart and silencer and that it cost 1,800 pounds it's got the Ducati official carbon fiber radiator covers it's got the rear hugger like I show you it's got the headlights around hydraulic covers and brakes and clutch and that it cost 1,500 250 pounds was the cost for the Ducati side number plate carrier. 100 pounds was the Ducati frame plugs. 100 pounds was the Ducati CC bar rest pad. The custom backrest bracket imported from Australia actually was 200 pounds. 1,000 pounds was for the Olin's fully adjustable rear shock absorber. 50 pounds was for the um, uh, RNG aero uh, crash uh, bobbins. 50 pounds. 50 pounds was spent on the uh, handlebar. Uh, actually, it's called rhizoma handlebar grips. And 400 pounds was spent for a private plate. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Can I just let you know? Actually, there's a new DFL on the market. It's called the Pikes Peak and it costs 24,595 pounds if you want one and that is really beautiful because I have seen one something different to, to, to share with all of you guys hope you are all okay today's a little windy oh my goodness but here I am making a night of video and share with all of you as you know this is my lifestyle and I do like to make all sorts of videos different variety of videos so I can um, share with all of you around the world so i can please more people guys is that okay so thanks for watching you are all awesome guys i'll see you on the next one